Okay, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run frequency distributions and also how to make histograms from bar plots in R. So we were using the defaulting customer data set. And um, remember, we had a lot of people, about 25,000 people joining a health club. And one of the variables in this, um, in, in this uh, uh, data set is called payment type, which tells how people pay their monthly dues. And there were four values of this. So this is a nice categorical variable. And suppose we wanted to get counts of the number of people who used each of these different payment types. So that's, that's going to be a frequency distribution. So the way you get this in R is you just type table and the variable name. So default dollar PMT type. And so here we have counts. Notice we have about uh, 5,200 statement people. We got about 7,800 book people um, and so forth. Now, this is, um, this is a frequency distribution, but often we want some additional stuff with it. So if you go with the course packet, um, type in freak dist. Now the beautiful thing about R is that you can write your own functions to do special things. So in the, in the course packet, I, um, I've written a little function, and you'd have to type this in exactly, or um, I'll make the code available on, um, on, on Canvas for you so that you can bring it in automatically. Um, so if you type this in exactly, let me show you what, what happens, uh, you will get, this is exactly what I had in the course packet. So I've just made myself a new function that I can use uh, to do whatever I want with. Okay, so let's do a freak dist of default dollar payment type. And what you're going to see is we get exactly the same counts, but in addition to that, it computes percents for us, it computes uh, cumulative counts, and it also has the cumulative percents. And so sometimes that's kind of nice. Uh, there's a second argument to this. If you say comma true, if you look down here, the second argument is the is uh, order by frequencies. This also does a sort so that it puts the most common value at the top and the least common value at the bottom. So it sorts by these frequency values instead of the, uh, uh, for the uh, um, format, not the format, the um, factor levels. So notice book was one, statement was three, credit and checking were um, four and five. All right, so how do we get a bar chart? Well, to get a bar chart, let's just go back to this, um, this table. And all we're going to do is pass this to bar chart. And we'll, so notice I have a, a function called bar chart. And I'm going to make a bar chart of the table. Let's see. You know, it's actually called bar plot. I always get those two mixed up. Uh, and so let's go look at this. If you, um, somewhere hidden, is my quartz window. And so here is the bar chart showing the frequencies of these, um, these different ones. So we can clearly see book is a little more common than statement and so forth. Okay, so that's how you make a frequency distribution and make a bar chart or bar plot from that. What about a, a numeric variable? So how do you make a chart or a plot for um, a numeric variable? Well, the way we're going to do that is with the histogram command, or the hist command. So if you just say hist, let's do it for age, we get a histogram of age. And we immediately see something very suspicious. So what I see as suspicious is this giant lump of about 2,000 uh, zero-year-olds. And the reason I find this suspicious is that this is a health club for adults. And so, you know, you really can't have uh, newborns joining this, this, uh, this health club. I think these are erroneous values. These are probably people who wouldn't give you their age. Um, and therefore, you just type in zero so that you can get to the next um, screen when you, when you key this stuff in. All right, so this is an example of dirt. Um, there's another thing that's kind of suspicious, which is this lump out here at the end. And these, you know, we're going to see in a second, are 99-year-olds. If you don't believe me, let's go do an up arrow and just change this to table. 
and what you can see is you, um, uh, you know, just like the histogram shows, you got some 79 year olds and there's nothing between age 79 and 99 and you get 26 99 year olds. I find that very suspicious. I mean, not that a 99 year old wouldn't be joining a health club, but it's suspicious that you wouldn't have anything in between those. So I think those 99 year olds are also dirt. I'll show you how you can get rid of that um, in, a, in a later video. And notice also you have about 1,142 zero year olds, a few one year olds, two year olds, three, four. Um, so I think all of these are very suspicious. Uh, one thing you may want to do is to change the bin width in this histogram. And the way you do that, um, well, you can always get help by with a question mark. And so there's a couple ways that you can do this. There's a, the next argument is a breaks command. And you can specify um, either the exact breaks that you want um, or the number of breaks that you want. So let's go back and bring up the hist, hist command. And let's say we want 100 breaks instead of you know, the default number. And so now what you see is you have a histogram that gives a um, uh, 100 different bars, potentially, uh, one for each year. So that's how we make bar charts, frequency distributions, and histograms uh, in R. I'll see you soon.